Hello everyone and welcome back to another BMW car review, but it's not even a BMW today. Today we have a 2021 GMC Denali. This is the quintessential BM, uh, not BMW, the quintessential mom car of the United States. It's been around, you, we all know of it, we all love it, and it has taken many different shapes and forms and everything like that at the time. This is the GMC variant, however they do also make this, this is the same platform as the Suburban, as well as the Cadillac um, Escalade. So uh, underneath the uh, underneath the surface, it is it's several different cars. GMC is kind of like the mid trim level. Um, Cadillac Escalade is a little bit nicer, and then the uh, Chevrolet Suburban is a little bit less nice than the GMC. Uh, the GMC is a fantastic car, though. They do have these absolutely monstrous, I believe, twenty. 20 inch wheels uh possibly they're 22 inch wheels freaking big 420 horsepower out of this massive behemoth um this car rides extremely comfortable as you'd expect out of a large american suv you do have these really sweet headlights um i love the new styling of them and then the remote start on this car works extremely quickly um working for bmw we are not known for our remote start because we did not even have it until 2000 and uh, 2019 on our three series. So literally with this car, all you do tap it once, tap it twice, and it immediately will go over. It doesn't do it with the windows, not the windows, the door open, because that would be kind of stupid. Um, but if you do it the right way, it starts right up. Sounds pretty good. Uh, the 6.2 liter V8 is probably one of the most reliable vehicles or reliable engines um, ever. Uh, it's not the same as an LS. However, it is still a fantastic um, engine. You've also got a ton of third row space back here with even um, with about a forearms length, even with the third row seat up. Um, and then you do have power seats. You can fold all the things kind of all at the same time and raise them up, lower them down. and in true American fashion, they raise quick as shit, which is absolutely nice. Um, that one wasn't gone down all the way. Ah, it's at the forward seat. There we go. All right, and then now you go up? I don't know, but it's quick as crap, and then you can put them up and put them down, and they go up and down about as quick as they, uh, about as quick as they possibly can, which is like twice as fast as the BMW X7. Um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee L that I also did a video on, um, I don't, I didn't like the seat configuration in that car as much as I do with this one. And what else is really nice, whenever you go up to the Denali, you get these really, really cool uh, side steps that actually have LEDs that go underneath them. Um, whenever you're at nighttime, or whenever you're driving this thing around at night, it is really nice having uh, the ability to actually, you know, uh, see it whenever you turn it on um we are gonna go on a quick spin nothing too crazy it's just a massive suv it's not like it's gonna perform like crazy or anything but it is a very very comfortable car with ventilated seats so i do like spending a lot of time in it um chevrolet's heads up display heads up display system is probably one of the best in the industry because it was one of the first ones that came out um Pontiac kind of made it widespread back in uh, two, the early 2000s, late 90s, which is pretty sick. Um, so, I mean, they had a head start on pretty much everyone. Uh, I guess you could say they had a head start on their heads up display. Uh, also 420 horsepower, pretty nice number if I do say so myself, uh, not for any particular reason. Um, but so through here, you've got your, uh, little hookup for your, you can tow with this thing. If you need to, you've got, uh, lane keep assist, parking sensors, activate deactivation, and then you can actually even adjust the position of the HUD, um, just with a little tr trigger off of here. You don't have to go into any menus or anything, not crazy like that. Um, this display setup, you pretty much have everything that you'd ever want to see you can see the total mileage on the vehicle and then the fuel economy and all that different stuff but it's not overly complicated it just does exactly what it's supposed to do the transmission thing is super dumb you have to pull it towards you neutral you push towards you and then the park button you press but the reverse and the drive you pull towards you which is stupid the uh, 360 degree cameras and everything like that around the top view of the car is really nice. It's extremely responsive. If you move the wheel, that thing moves pretty much immediately, which is really nice because whenever you're trying to maneuver around a massive behemoth like this car, um, the less input delay, the better. Uh, the climate control is uh, shown directly on the little knobs, which is a great touch. And then you also got quick access for your heated seats. You can do the top of your back. You can do uh, and then you can also do the full seat and then you can also just kick on the fan if you're feeling a little bit toasty It's actually kind of cold. So I'm not going to keep those on today um, Instrument panel and everything super easy to use uh, Something that is pretty sweet that 
I don't know if they're still doing, but uh, I think on some years with the Cadillac Escalades and everything like that, you can actually press a button and make things go away and there's extra storage hidden. Um, but I don't know what years those do and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, you got a wireless charger down here. In the past, it was up here, but these had a bunch of issues. So I think they started putting them down there. I've also got a little USB type C, USB type A. You can press that, that'll close. And you press it back again, it'll open back up. This is actually big enough to store a body in. And you've got another USB type C and another type A connector in there um in the back room we've got captain's chairs captain's chairs are very common on these and uh bench seats are you can get them but like apparently they're almost impossible this is what one of my customers was telling me the other day and you've also got a behemoth another behemoth everything in this car is just big because that's what american do and american do good job at it um it, to work it you just can push it right yonder I don't really know how that works, but you can open it. There's the, it's right here actually. So you can just press that and then it all opens up, which is really, really cool. We're going to go on a little drive in it and I'll give you my conclusion. I get our seatbelt put on so we can go on this little test drive, but, um, inside of the car, the cabin is very, very comfortable. The climate control works as it should. It works quickly and it makes the car the temperature that it says it is not just kind of suggesting that it's almost the temperature you want it to be. That's what I love about, you know, Cadillac and GMC and the Suburban, you know, the cars are just simple and they just do what they're supposed to do and do a good job at it. Um, they're not overly complicated with a ton of turbos and crazy things like that. Um, and I do like this a little bit better than the GMC, uh, not the GMC, the Jeep, uh, G Grand Cherokee L. Those cars are just too big, man. And then like the engine felt antiquated and then they've got turbos on the new stuff and like Cadillac and Suburban, they, they've been doing it forever. I've sold so many of these cars. I've sold, uh, I sold 2002s. I've sold, I've sold these with 256,000 miles on them and they're just good cars and they just do what they should. And that's what I love about them. Um, they do ride like a truck because it is a truck. That's what you should expect. It's it trucks do truck things. Um, it doesn't corner very well and it's not supposed to. So why should you expect it to? The lane keep assist works extremely well. Uh, the only thing that I really have to complain about these cars is that you're paying too much money for what you're getting. These things should be, they shouldn't be up in the $100,000 range. This should be a $60,000 car. Um, but it's still a great vehicle and uh, performs really well and they're very reliable, which makes them the quintess a quintessential partner to the American dream. And I would give this car a solid eight out of 10 for what it is. But um, without further ado guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Also, also by the way, again, I sorry that I do the thing that all the other YouTubers do. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand followers so that I can start actually making money doing these videos. Um, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.